Hello friends, in this video, we are going to discuss harmonic reduction by stepped wave inverter. Okay, so. Here, the circuit diagram, it is a same as that of there is connection of transformer. Okay, so we are having the two inverters, inverter A and inverter B. Input supply is DC. The magnitude of the input supply is Vs. Okay. The output voltage of the inverter A is connected to the primary winding of the first transformer. The output voltage of the inverter B is connected to the primary winding of the second transformer. And the secondary windings of both the transformers are connected in such a way that these two voltages, that is Va0 and Vb0, will be additive. Right. So V0 is equal to addition of V0 is equal to VA0 plus VB0. Okay. V0 is equal to VA0 plus VB0. Okay. So, here the inverter A is operated in such a way that, yes, here at this instant we are going to turn on the switches S1, S2. Right. And similarly, at this instant we are going to turn off the switches S1, S2. Okay. So, this is we have shown. This we have shown. As, uh, for only first half cycle, right? Positive half cycle, right? The same way, right? We can get the output voltage for the negative half cycle as well, okay? By operating the particular switches from inverter A and the inverter B, okay? So, here S1 is turned on, S1 is to turn on, here S1 is to turned off, okay? Suppose inverter A and B are the full bridge inverters, okay? So, it consists of the four switches, S1, S2, S3, S4, right? So, we, turn, we have turned on the S1, S2 here. And here S1 is to turned off. So output voltage will be, yes, here S1 is to turns on means here voltage will be Vs. Okay. So here we will be getting 1 S to 3 turns ratio. So it is a 3 Vs, right? So that's why we have got here 3 Vs, right? Next, Vb0, that is a voltage across. Yes, the out, yes, voltage across the invert output voltage of the inverter B is nothing but the Vb0 because it is a 1 S to 1 transformer, right? So it is a VB0, so it should be VB0, okay? And here we'll, we can write it as a VA0 by 3 because it is a 1 H to 3, right? So we can write it as a VA0 by 3, okay? So it is VA0 by 3, suppose, okay? So because it's a 1 H to 3, right? So that's why it is a VA0 by 3. Next, here. S1, S2 on turn on. S1, S2 of inverter B are turned on at this instant. Okay. So output voltage will be Vs. Okay. At this instant, S1, S2 are turned off and S3, S4 are turned on. So output voltage will be minus Vs. At this instant, S3, S4 are turned off. Okay. And from here to here, none of this switch will be in the on state. So output voltage will be 0. Right. Again, here S1, S2 turns on. So output voltage will be Vs. Right. Here S1 has to turns off, right? Similarly, none of the switch S3, S4 turn on, S3, S4 turns off, and so on. Okay. So, in order to get Vs as an output, we need to turn on S1, S2 minus Vs as an output, we need to turn on S3, S4. Okay. So, now, yes, means here intentionally, right? We, we have operated the switches such a that in order to get this type of waveform, right? So, why we, we are interested in getting this type of waveform? Because, yes. V0 means the VA0 plus VB0, right? Sorry, this is not the Vs. This is actually VA0, okay? This is a VA0 because output voltage of the first transformer, right? Sorry, first inverter, okay? So, it is a VA0 we are having, okay? So, now if you check, this is a VA0 plus VB0 is nothing but V0, okay? VA0 here it is a 0, 0 plus Vs, so it is a Vs, right? It is a 3 Vs minus Vs, so it is a 2 Vs, right? During this interval, 3 Vs plus 0, it is a 3 Vs. 3 Vs plus Vs, it is a 4 Vs. Similarly, 3 Vs plus 0, it is a 3 Vs. 3 Vs minus Vs, 2 Vs, right? And similarly, we can get this waveform, okay? 0 plus Vs, it is a Vs, okay? So, if you check this waveform, we are having the multiple number of steps, okay? So, that's why it is known as a stepped wave inverter, okay? So, nowadays, right, in research going on, right, for, yes, multi-level inverters, right. So, this is the example of that type of the inverter, okay. And definitely, this will be more closer to the sinusoid waveform because here the minimum will be 0. After that, it goes on increasing, right, and reaches the peak and again it goes on decreasing, right. So, here 
will be having the waveform that will be more closer to the sinusoidal right more closer to the sinusoidal compared to that of the square wave or the quasi square wave right so definitely it will be having lesser number of harmonics right is this clear okay so this is about the harmonic reduction by stepped wave inverter again this is not the unique circuit this is not the unique circuit right we can design this type this type of circuits we can add number of steps as well right we can add the number of steps also okay so in the next video we are going to discuss the three phase inverters thank you